today we did our first trail. Trail. 12 kilometers trail. This is gonna be like the the, the first video right here was uh, pretty much me and Pirikri. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> just, <laughs> just waiting. <laughs> you put camera in front of me in public and now you can start making weird faces. Yeah. So for the, 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 there is this thing. Many people, uh, I mean many, a handful <laughs> of people have asked us for the to do vlogs. vlogs. And uh, <laughs> every time we try to make a vlog, it's like Pirikri wants to dig a hole and get inside. <laughs> you know, it's literally... This is the reason I don't make vlogs. Yeah. yeah. L like, I was like, hey, you want to speak to the camera or something? There's no audio. No, no, there's a bit of audio, but I think it's like slightly low. Oh, because the audio, audio it's better. Yeah. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not better. No, the other video. Uh, so this was like us waiting, me trying to shoot a cool vlog for you guys. Uh, but Pirikri was just not there. It was, she was not there. She was so... You were so intimidated there by, by everyone. There were 900 people. What, yeah, what do you so expect? what? But no, nobody has nothing to do with you. Okay. Oh, this was hype though. Yeah, border, border, border. It's like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Till this time, half of the contest contestants, they were gone. Mm -hmm. Like the wrong ones. No, 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 no it's not one. the wrong ones. It was <laughs> no. like the first ones. I'm so fumbling right now. Long distance. One. Yeah, the, the, the 30 not kilometers the guys, ones. right? So they, they went. <laughs> so here we are, uh, we are checking. The, I think it's the 18 kilometers, guys. I, no, it's... Uh, yeah. This is like cold so hype up. It's like, thank you. Like, uh, look at them. Look at... So, these guys are the... What do we consider like the... Um, a few of them are professional runners. They... they and you can see by, by, by the, their equipments. Look at it. Look, look at them going. You know, they are all equipped, they got all the the nice equipment, everything. Yeah. They have like these uh, water holders. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, you, br you bring it like here and then you, you suck on them. <laughs> no, it's exactly like they are coming here and then you just suck it. <laughs> we, were here, we were like those two women. Yeah, we were like those two women. <laughs> In the back. No, ah, no, we should, uh, Lisa, fun. those two women did way better than us. I'm, that's, that's uh, I'll promise you for that. Uh, so this was really fun to to see. Just uh, for me, I was just observing uh, like <laughs> what what happens to the, you know, to these people how they were preparing around the circuit, and um, I, I was trying to observe what do they carry. Mm -hmm. So you want to be as lighter weight as possible. Yeah. Because as the run goes, you get more tired. So uh, any piece of cloth that is extra and is like heavy becomes like very heavy. So I'll tell you this story. The first time I ran uh, 10 kilometers on, uh, on one of these races, but it was only road. So mm -hmm. it was just a run, you know, there was not a, a, a trail or anything like that. It was just a run. <laughs> so... I went with the, you know, like that black jacket that I have that is like actually heavy, but it was like, it was very, very cold because it's what it was in the winter, right? So I was like, okay, I'm going to carry these. And, but I completely forgot that in the middle of the run, I will might want to, to take it out. Right. Mm. But the, the reality is like, as I started running, it was very tough. Like if you run, you, you cannot like, it's very tough, like to take it out and put it here because then, as you run, it it come starts falling from your your hips. Yeah, yeah. So it's just annoying. Uh, so I ran the whole uh, ten kilometers with it, and it started like very cool. You know, I was cozy by like the second or third kilometer. It, the 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 jacket felt like I was like a having a turtle shell on top. You know, yeah. it was so heavy. And as it went, it became even more heavy, more heavy, more heavy. It was terrible. I had a terrible experience. So 
a friend of mine that I met at the finishing line, he said, did he run with that? And I said, yeah. And he said, yeah, you're stupid, man. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I was. Uh, so he said, like, the best thing you can do is you warm up, even if it's cold, warm up, but don't come with jacket, don't come with anything. You just warm up your body yeah. and uh, <laughs> because you're going to be fine. Yeah. You know? It's also about like shoes. If you wear wrong shoes, oh, you're fucked. Yeah, no, no, and also like we saw the shoes. I was seeing like a few of them. They have like it was like larger than normal, but then they're having like these kind of spikes. Yeah. Uh, probably is, you know, to, to make the grip to make the grip like even better. Yeah. So uh, let me show you here. This was uh one of the first hills that uh that we went. It uh, was the way we were starting. Yeah, yeah. This was like right at the start, and chat. This was like going like this. Like literally, we yeah. were climbing, and as it went, I felt like the beginning was so why is it so pixelated? No, it's just because of the, the, the quality on the on the browser. But it's fine, people can see. This was like the beginning. So that it, was me. Yeah, that was you. And um this is my dad. And uh this was was I thought it was a very very tough start. It was like the first two kilometers yeah. was literally come going like this. Yeah, like super inclined. And I was seeing like these uh, older people, right? Yeah. And uh, a few of them, like my father, is still in like in good shape uh, yeah. for these things. Other people were not. Yeah. Like we literally passed through a through a guy who was like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, I oh. can't even imagine Man. how did he finish." I felt like he was having asthma. Like I felt like also the girl I was with him. Maybe that was something that he wanted to do. Yeah. But that was literally twenty minutes into. The the you know yeah. the track uh, the the trail and he was already like that. I don't want to know if he finished or not. Yeah, I, I think a few people just quit because it was. They tough. come back. Yeah, come yeah. back or you know just take a shortcut. Yeah, or it's it's very tough. It was very very, very rough after the especially like the two kilometers like to start was <laughs> insane. Yeah. Um, but then we got to this part. It was a very, very beautiful part here. It is a monastery, an old one. Look how beautiful it is. Yeah. This is like literally is abandoned in the middle of the, the mountains. Were you surprised by this? Yeah, I was not expecting. And also it was kind of like, uh, it was beautiful. It and was it was not scary. <laughs> Maybe there were like many people. That's why I, I'm sure if you come in the middle alone. of the night, it, it will be scary. Or Listen, if you go alone, in the middle of the night, everything is scary. Even your own room is scary. Mm. You know, I think if you come alone, maybe it can be scary. But if you're like uh, with so many people, I don't think it's so scary. Yeah. And in the middle of the night, the day was perfect. I think we got so lucky. Like perfect yeah, day it was, so was not too sunny. Not uh the the weather was was just insane, just amazing. Yeah, yeah, completely it was just amazing. It was amazing. Uh, so this is an old monastery where mm -hmm. um it's not monks, man, but it's like you like those, those priests. I thought this was like house or something. No, 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 no. Like this, I think what it was priests. A monastery. I think it was a place that priests they used to go and live out of society. Oh, something like that. I think like it, it is a religious thing. Mm. It is a religious thing. I, I'm not um, sure exactly what it is. Or the, the the girls, the other ones. I don't know how you say it's priest, but I don't know the female version. But you told me this juicy gossip about this. Oh, oh, there, there is. This is a. Oh, OK. It's a gossip, but it is more like a myth that it says there is a tunnel that connects this one to I think this one was for the the guys, and there is a tunnel that goes from this one until the center of the city, uh, to connect with another monastery for girls. And the they the the myth is that they found this chamber in the middle oh. of the you know the tunnel, and they used with the dead babies. What? Yeah, like a lot of skeletons from dead babies. So the what the the the, 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 the people say like on this news and uh, this gossip is probably very rich people 
that used to get pregnant back then, they they used to take them there and they used to abort, doing abortion there. Oh. Or even, you know, the priests the and, and, the, the and the female, they used to do tick tick tick. Uh, but then they couldn't get pregnant because they were, you know, embodying the Jesus Christ yeah. and all these things. So they and they to used to abort there. This is like the whole gossip, mm. you know. That. Uh, but you tell you told me another gossip. Oh, uh, <laughs> and there is another thing. And uh, this one, I know this one. This one is uh, is not really a gossip. This was news. Uh, this monastery that I'm gonna show on the on the next video. Okay, I have I have I have something to say. Mm -hmm. Tell Could me. you please uh, play from the downloaded ones? No, I don't have. It, it is going to be more or less this. No, don't worry about it. It's fine. So, chat, let me show you more in detail. And uh, we're going to hear the the sound, the, the tune of my father's phone. Kept ringing here. So, look at this. This is really, really cool. Yeah. Your father is like a ha is glowing, maybe. He really was like glowing. So we were going through the middle of the monastery. I was uh, looking around. I, I really like these these ruins. I feel like these ruins that have a lot of history. I find it like fascinating. Oh, the, you were saying it also has used to have these these uh, rituals people yeah. used to do. Oh, I, I'm saying on the... They used to do some satanic things. Yeah. So, I don't know because I never went, but when I was like 12, uh, there was like these, these news that the police had to come here yeah. because they were using these temples. And there's like some chambers or something below. They, they, I never explored. It was my first time here. What is satanic thing? Satanic is uh, <laughs> people that they... Black magic kind of stuff? Mm, no, uh, not really black. Okay, maybe, but it, it's more like they. Okay, we as Christians we um, celebrate Jesus Christ, and for for them is Satan, you know. So for like a Satan, you know who Satan is. Uh, some, Satan is like the dem like the demon. Some gothic shit. Yeah, it's the guy that uh, the <laughs> owns the hell. You know that do dominates oh. hell. Oh. Yeah. So these are like bad people. There is a whole story. There is a whole story when it comes. He used to be an angel, and then he did something bad. I I don't really know like the full story, but you know he did something bad, and he got uh, he went to the purgatory, which is called is hell, is a purgatory, and then he became the ruler of the purgatory. I feel like it's like this more or less. Mm. Um, so people, there are some people that there's like these satanic books. And it's a whole cult. It's, a, it's like a cult. And mm. uh, they, you know, they preach for Satan. Mm. You know, they pray for, for <laughs> him. They do some rituals. They It, it involves a lot of, like, uh, sacrifice, blood. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit brutal. So yeah. they were using, like, this uh, monastery uh, for that. And uh, there was books. There was like they found like a, a, a like a pig head. They found like um, chickens that they used to like rotten chickens, you know, like and the symbols on the floor that they do. They, there's a, a whole oh, thing. Shit. Yeah, there's a whole uh, made them with blood, and then they pray. I mean, I I I'm not like very well aware. I only saw like on the movies. And I, I was thinking about going to this place uh, again, but I'm not gonna go. No, okay, this was like more than 10, 12 years ago, you know, I was uh, more, more now, <laughs> probably like 20 years ago. Uh, I don't think it's such a thing now. Then the, the police can, uh, you, they went there, they raided it and they kicked them out, you know, mm. but it, it was not like they were there all the time. They just used to go there in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. uh, around like midnight or 2, 2 a.m. or something. Mm -hmm. And they used to do these rituals. That so there weird. was times that you could look into the mountains and you will see like some some torches. So oh. people used to go with like with torches and like black hoodies like this, you like know? Like films? Yeah, yeah. Exactly like film. Because oh. films is based on the reality sometimes, you know? Yeah. Uh, and they used to go like to this thing and they used to make uh, these rituals and these things. Um, I Of course, I never seen like, so I cannot like... 
tell you exactly how it was, but uh, people just spoke. Uh, Merhaba. How, how are you all uh, gonna lurk that uh, super busy night? Uh, yo, thank you, Ian, for being here, man. We're telling a story about the the trail that we we did today. Uh, yeah. So was this nice. was the the monastery. This is such a beautiful. I, I feel like this. It's really cool, right? After I saw this. Oh, my hair is getting long. Yeah. Really cool. <laughs> I really like these stairs. I would like to take a yeah. picture of you on these stairs. I feel like it will look incredible. Should I do like some gothic, some uh, dark oh. thing? No, you, you, don't, you don't need to do like a gothic thing. Uh, but How you do know, you imagine me here taking pictures? I don't know. Like something artistic, definitely. Yeah. Uh, this was like a trail, a 12 yeah. kilometers trail that we did uh, around like the mountains here in my hometown. Yeah. And I, I never I, I live here for the for the past like what uh, you know few years now. And they look like those three people. Yeah. Dead people. No, no, they no, they are angels. <laughs> okay, relax, relax. <laughs> These not demons, okay? They are like literally just angels like praying or something like That's that. A satanic thing. Yeah, you just uh, it's the, this is the, used to be a place where they uh you know, they used to pray and all the things for centuries yeah. decades and it's centuries a, it's a really nice place yeah you know? I, I just want to see again because I, it's so unbelievable yeah. that this is abandoned in the middle of the mountain uh, you can only go there and access by walking uh, and no car goes there or anything it's a very isolated place Yeah, but it's insane it is I feel like man I want to go there again and I want to do I want to explore it better I want to go again and not shit on my pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, if we go in the morning, it's going to be imagine completely we, fine. Imagine we go for a photo shoot and I shit on my pants. No. no. Imagine like you, you hear like... Or, Holy shit. You know. No, I'm not scared of that. I'm scared of vibe. You know. Of what? Vibe. You feel the... No, no. I don't feeling. think so. Did you feel anything? I didn't feel anything. No, I didn't feel yeah. it. It felt like but a very told, peaceful place. Now you told me the story of this skeleton and all that stuff, my perspective. No, no it's, it's fine. You're going to be fine. Uh, also, like, you never know if it's just rumors, but yeah. it, it was on the news, so hopefully it's not. But in, uh, also even that you never know. So these then we after that, we uh, we passed through these... Uh, this was such a beautiful this place. This was insane. Yeah, it looked like this bamboo tree in yeah, Japan. But it was not bamboo. You would. You you know that Japanese uh, Japanese bamboo thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I, you it, know it, it was such a cool way. Yeah, a cool it thing. was really beautiful. Then, this uh, is also a very, very photo shoot area. Yeah. Also, chat understand like I was just taking um, clips here and there. Uh, so there's like huge gaps of time that I yeah. like 20, 30 minutes that I didn't. But as when I saw like a because like also there was. Parts of the track, uh, the trail that was insanely hard. Insanely hard. Insane, like literally climbing hills like this. Yeah. Uh, there was one part that I had to climb like with my hand. Yeah, yeah. Right at the end. Yeah, <laughs> and there was, and also like when it was going down, it was not easy. It was not mm -hmm. like this. It was like this. Yeah, yeah. It was it, it, there was one time that I I tried to start running just for fun because I, one guy. So we were doing the walk and there were guys running. Uh, so when the guy came and passed me, I said, "Man, that's so cool! I want to try that." Yeah, I and I started that. running and I started going. Blah, 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 and I, I was no turning back. There was no, you like, can't stop. I couldn't stop. I couldn't break. And, uh, and I got scared. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I got I got freaking scared. You got like, scared. Yeah, I got scared. It happened with me also. Yeah, I was there trying was to this... break and I couldn't, and I was like, G -g 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 yeah, it, if it happened with me. It was like really, really like this. Yeah. And uh, I tried to run. I was like, okay, this is gonna be easy. Yeah, you just have to let it go. And my body starts falling automatically, yeah. and then you try to hold your body on your legs. Mm -hmm. And it is such a weird thing. Yeah, it was a weird <laughs> like, thing. Okay, I want to stop, but I can't stop. Yeah, you, you can't. Know? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> it's like, okay. Because I was like... Now eh. it's do or die situation. If I stop, I'm going to I'm gonna fall. <laughs> well, once I got down there, I was like, oh man, this could have gone so wrong. <laughs> yeah. You know? Your uh, knees get so 
Oh, but you know, uh, but it was fine. At the end of the day, then uh, well, I I kind of learned it like the way you do. Like if you start running, you just have to let it go. Yeah. In a way, yeah. you know. And uh, but but at the end of the day, you have to have like this extra courage inside you yeah. that you gonna you gonna do well. So <clears throat> afterwards, uh, this is me in Pirikri. Uh, this is what like three kilometers in probably. Yeah. <laughs> I was so tired here. Tired? Yeah. So tired. Uh but but I was fine. I was still fine. I feel like I was sweating, I think. I, I was sweating the whole thing. But yeah. um Your dad was sweating so much. Oh man. He he sweat all it, the time. Yeah. Winter, summer, yeah. <laughs> snowfall, <laughs> he sweats yeah. all the time. Yeah, I got that from him for sure. Yeah. But uh, th this was very. Uh, this was a uh, a part where we stopped to climb, and so we were like more relieved. Yeah. You know, we were like uh, I think we were uh, getting. It was like third kilometer or something. It was yeah. fun. Uh, we were like going with this group more or less, and then do we reach to the part chat that oh my god this was such a blessing chat so on a kilometer four in these uh, trails they uh, always put a stop you know in the middle more or less yeah, where you can for, take a small break yeah how did you like this break so I, I i i couldn't understand i was like there are these people there to cheer us up <laughs> but, no it's a, yeah, it's, it's like a, a pit stop I, yeah. I didn't know that they're gonna it's gonna be the pit stop pit yeah. stop. So we reached there and there was food. Yeah, we didn't took the shot of the, food, the food, but let, let but me see snack. a bit here if I can show uh something. Okay. So th this will do. But here you could refill uh, your water on, on this side. And then here there was uh half bananas, a uh, sliced orange, yeah, shots of Porto wine. That was very surprising for me. The Porto Who wine? Who takes shots of Porto wine in these kind of activities? It, 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 <laughs> like, this is mainly for fun. Portuguese, uh, they can literally drink Porto wine and yeah. and bread with anything. Anything. <laughs> literally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, half banana. Yeah, yeah. Like, imagine like a banana, but one banana for each person is a lot. So you don't need also, it because also it's it's too much, uh, too filling. Yeah, for it's these too activities. filling. Uh, so you eat half banana. And there was bread also. You was it was bread that you could put honey on top. And there was I, honey? I we, yeah, we didn't oh, see. I, I didn't, didn't see. Know. I didn't see. And there was those bars. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck! They were so good. I I ate so many of them. Energy oh, bars. energy bars, energy bars. The, uh, energy bars was good. The, you know, like chat. Uh, some people they use these energy bars b when they are trying to diet, so yeah. they don't eat anything during the. So they just bring these energy bars, uh, cereal bar or something like that that they buy in the supermarket in the groceries, and they don't eat anything else. So it's just gonna eat that. But what people, some people don't understand is like that's so high on sugar yeah like that's not a diet thing yeah you should don't don't have that if you're trying to diet like it, it is it is not for that it is mainly if you gonna go work out or do some activity or if you're doing a very demanding activity like uh lifting a lot of weight or doing like this kind of like very like three hours uh trekking or trail uh, then you you use one because you want to boost your your things, but they don't have like those cereal energy bars, please. Uh, if you're just trying to diet, uh, Ian is saying, my Turkish is dead eating bread and drinking honestly the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but uh, uh, this, this was such a this is such a traditional thing, right? Yeah, mm. this was a, a great a great small break. Yeah. You know, because here we did like four kilometers and a half space. I was so relaxed. Yeah. The, it was like, Chad, the, the first four kilometers were literally climbing to the top of the mountain all the time. Uh, it was insane. So having some fruits, some energy bars, and um, I, I guess like if I saw the honey and bread, I would probably have it with I, wine. I, I didn't see the, the bottle of honey or anything. Mm, yeah, I saw, me neither. I saw the, the thing. Me neither. But, but I had like uh, I had like one or two bananas. Uh, the, the orange is so 
Nice. So orange fresh. Orange was so good. They cut to the orange like in, in the quarters. So you just go and you put it and you bite it and, and all juice. the juice. Oh my God. It was, it was so good. So good. So then we went like to this part like right here. Uh, this was like after that pit stop. So now we are climbing even more, Shad. <laughs> yeah. But now we are reaching the top. We are reaching the top here. Honey is uh, well, what yeah. I have before a workout is really nice. Yeah, it's uh, it's amazing, amazing. Really, before, yeah. before before I never took before. So I'll try. imagine if you put the, you can do like for example a slice of bread, banana, and honey or peanut butter. Oh. Then you're gonna have like this boost of energy oh, I'm, I'm, while I'm you're working try out. Next time. Yeah, but but don't have it if you're not gonna do anything because it's like very high ca calorie. Color. Oh. So, but if you're gonna go and do a, a an activity, is super good because you're gonna have a lot of energy. Okay. So here, chat is the the Look top the of the month. This was incredible. It's so blue yellow. So for <laughs> just for the, a it's small not thing, yellow. It's blue. No, no. Did I say yellow? I I said yellow, and oh. you know what I said today? Instead of snacks, I said scan. <laughs> I think I'm too tired. Yeah, it's fine. You you deserve some rest after the stream for sure. So Pirikri, uh, she used to uh, back in the in the COVID days. She thought that uh, I used to Photoshop the sky. Yeah. And uh, because it was so blue, and uh, it is incredibly yeah, blue. Yeah, because sometimes if you put this same sky with white buildings mm -hmm. or white houses, it looks yeah. even more blue. And, and here, because this is like what nine in the morning, so it's early in the morning still, Shad. Mm. So this is the morning fog. Okay, this you see is like morning fog. Yeah, but, but it gets really blue. Yeah, it get, as as the the day goes, it gets even way more blue, right? That's why the it water gets... here is uh, super blue too. Yeah, yeah, because of reflection. Right? Yeah, the reflection, right? Hey, hey, uh, what uh, did I do? Uh, uh. Okay, Chad, you're gonna hear my heavy breathing probably. Oh, uh, look at her. She was <laughs> dying, Chad. Okay, I'll tell you what you happened. You were so done with the race right now. It on a very weird way. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what happened. I had this energy bars and all that stuff, okay? Uh -huh. My it, energy got boosted. Yeah. And then it went down. Mm. And this was the down where I was struggling so much. Yeah. And <laughs> three, four people on the other side, they were clicking pictures and all that thing. They were like, oh, she's cheating. She's cheating because I was taking shortcut. No, no, I was this like, was what after. the this, hell? I'm the, dying. Yeah, yeah, this was after. But, uh, yeah. I was like, if you put, uh, make a grave, a grave for me here, I would happily <laughs> like to <laughs> lie, <laughs> <laughs> lie down on it, you know, instead of walking. This was a, uh, like 20 minutes climbing again. You know, the, the inclination was slightly less, but it was always, it felt like you were always climbing, it right? It was not a lot of, Climbing, but I don't it know why long. I got like so exhausted at this point. It, it's easy to understand. You stopped. You got yeah. slightly cold, and you had these uh, energy, things. energy things. So you know, first of all, it's not like you got like that huge spike like, right ahead okay. because you know, like the same way you have lunch and then Up you get lazy mind. afterwards. Yeah, it happens more or less the same thing. That, that's yeah. why you shouldn't like feel you up like that much you just have yeah. like half banana a bit of honey a shot of wine you know yeah. and, and then you go you know so you try to go uh, not rest uh rest the least time possible and then just keep going because yeah. then it is going to be very very tough you die yeah you, you are so tired here more yeah Holy shit. look 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 at this shit always always going to the top all is going to the top, buddy. This was the uh, like a uh, kind of flat compared to the other tops. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but it was but constant. It was it a was long constant. one. This was, was a long, long one. Yeah. So a, a long, long stretch. So the other one, <laughs> it was like more inclination, then you stop. More inclination, then you stop. So. So I'll tell you what happened before this stop. Uh, <laughs> we were walking with our group, mm -hmm. and I wanted to be first on that group. You know, so I was like. Uh, doing fast and passing people and uh -huh. all that stuff. But after this break time, mm -hmm. a lot of people from other side, they joined different yeah. groups. So I was like, okay, there is no competition now. So so what, what she's trying to say is, Shad, uh, 
there was like multiple paths inside the race, but at the end of the day, they will all converge into one right. final path, yeah. right? So the walk, they went right and the, the 30 kilometers race and the 18 kilometers race, they went left, for example. So they did a completely different path, but at the end of the day, it, it, we just like took like the shorter route and they went like the long one. And then at the end, they were joining. So by the end of like the f last few kilometers, like the last five or something, you were seeing people coming like... Uh, not sprinting, but they were running like really, really fast behind yeah. us, and we were just walking, doing the walk. So you lost the competition sense yeah, against the the walkers. <laughs> we walkers. were the walkers. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did like this joke like three days, three times three today, times. <laughs> and we laughed. But then and we laughed that's again. That's all it matters. <laughs> so beautiful. This is a. I feel like this is a, like one of the my favorite uh, things about portugal especially the, this area but the whole portugal is very green green yeah blue and if you go to the south near the coast is also very orangey uh, be uh because uh, yeah orange uh, because of like on the coast there is i don't know the term in english um you know like that material that they make the bricks for the yeah 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 for for the the houses yeah so in the in the south in algarve there is a lot of that in the soil. So that's why it's like slightly orange. Here, the dirt is very, very brown. Uh, but is in also, chat, one thing that, uh, unfortunately, we can show you through through this, you know, terracotta, I, I think you might be right. Uh, some uh, clay, um, it's like orangey. Uh, maybe clay, maybe terracotta, something like that. I, I don't know for sure the, um, the term. But... Chat, unfortunately, these images, they don't have smell. Because the smell was extremely pleasant. Yeah. It was like eucalyptal and the the nature, like so much, super fresh. It's like a, you blow in the the fresh air and it was incredible. Um, I mean... You go to the city, and sometimes when we're uh, I'm running in the city, I know I try to to avoid places where cars are passing by because, because it's not a smell. yeah it's not a good feeling to go and uh, and run whenever the 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 car is passing by and it leaves like that uh, exhaustion like the the smoke out of the car. Um, so for me, you know that was um, one of the biggest struggles that we we found and i found like when we were in india it was the nature smell no 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 not the nature smell like if you want to work out oh there's it, no space they, like I, I especially in delhi okay this is we're talking about delhi if yeah. if it was like in the imagine in the mountains it would probably going to be fine even reg then in like other places maybe also go uh, probably you're fine you can run outside yeah. but <laughs> In a city like Delhi, I don't think you want to run outside. Also in Mumbai. Or maybe like in every place like is slightly or crowded. highly polluted. No, not crowded, like polluted. Mm -hmm. You know? The 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 air. The yeah. air quality is not good. So uh, for me, I always felt like and sometimes I saw like those people running. I saw a few people running. Not not a lot. You don't see a lot of people running. But then I was like, man, when you take you take like the very deep breaths, uh, with that high air quality, I was feeling like, man, I feel like you're doing more harm than good. Yeah. You know that that was in my mind what I thought. So I feel like even if you want to go run, you probably want to go like to a gym just because you have like the hair ventilation and everything is filtered right. Um. So that was a struggle that I found, and because of that, I valued a lot. Uh, because during COVID, I used to do all these walks, remember? Yeah. And uh, I valued so much the, the fresh air. And the the fresh air. But here, people people run on for, for every single thing. Yeah. There is Eastern, people are running. There is Christmas, you see people running. Yeah, the there's a lot of uh, exercise activities. <laughs> there is Valentine's Day, people are running or cycling. Yeah. Every single occasion, people are going to run. Yeah. There is like a lot of running um uh, uh, but uh, but yeah. I feel like also this city invites you to work out. Yeah, not which is good. Yeah, not only they they create events in uh, in these things, 
But also, even if you like, we this was the first event we ever went, like, and yet there is like these so many of them. So, no, there's so many of them oh uh, ex uh, events, right? But what I was saying, like, there is many places where you can go for such a nice run with such a nice view. Yeah, on the beach, on the mountain, river, uh, river. There's so many places. To so run many, so many out. places. Yeah, that's so, so true. So I feel like, in that sense, the city itself, the the way it's made, in the the location, right? That like it's a very privileged place. Uh, invites you to. You don't even do need. You don't even need to run. Just go for a walk near the river. That's yeah. why you see, you know, Sunday. It, like during the week, you always see people. But on Sundays and in uh, in Saturday, we'll see even more people. You no know, people are are going for dates. People are, uh, you know, like just doing some leisure activities yeah. with with their kids. So they go around the river and they walk, and it, it is nice. It is. It's it nice. Is, but, it is. But when I when I came here, it, it was very new for me. Like we went to this Eastern event. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the city, and there were people with the machines doing those uh, rowing. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah! In the middle of the the, the square. Yeah, it's like it was a CrossFit event everywhere on every event, which is a nice thing. Yeah, the, the, so so there was a CrossFit event. They were trying to promote CrossFit. Oh, okay. And different activities. In one of them, they were so in the middle of the main square of the city, there was like these rowing things, <laughs> and uh, they were putting like weights in the quad. Yeah. Like was was fun. Was fun. Um, not fun for us to do, but you know, here is once again a uh, pretty creek climbing, <laughs> struggling, <laughs> struggling, dying inside. Yeah, here you were struggling. Oh, look, I was look at this, chat. Like look that. at this. This is insane, man. Look at oh my god, I was like. I was so hyped when I was kind of kind of missing this. You game. missing it? Yeah. Uh, because I don't think you did. You enjoy? You were not enjoying I a lot this part. Enjoy this part at all? Yeah, you were struggling. I, was, yeah, I struggling think it was the part now. that you struggled the most. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, because after this, you were kind of fine. Because also, it was like going downhill, right? Uh, it was not going downhill. It also, it was not. No, no. Very it was not, like, okay, after outside. this was like downhill. Or flat, uh, slight going up, but it was like very, it was like the tendency was to go down after yeah. this. But this was like just after break, maybe. <laughs> I don't know what was the reason, but I was struggling. Yeah, yeah, it was a uh, 30, uh, hard, thir <laughs> hard 30 minutes, yeah. let me tell you. So, but for me, when I, I was just trying to enjoy this, it was tough for me. My, my lower back was painting here too. But uh, this is just insane, chat. Yeah, same with me. Yeah. My lower back was paining for some reason. Yeah, because we're not used to. And okay. uh, we had to do a lot of like, you know, when yeah. you, you, you're trying to climb like big steps and, you know, like uh -huh. it's, it's tough, gets tough, right? Yeah. Uh, so very beautiful place that uh, I, I, I had to. It was very beautiful. And uh, this video is probably one of my favorites. <laughs> uh, so here, chat. This is the time, one of the first times that I decided to try to do a, a small run. Uh, let me see if it's gonna, is it going to open. Please open. No! Why, why is... Uh, okay. So, I I asked Pirikri to uh, <laughs> to start running. Did you start? No, I hear, it was not here. Uh, she, you saw me running and then you started running. Like, yeah. You were running so cute. Let's go, baby girl. Let's go. Look at her. She got the flex. <laughs> you, you did really nice here. This was like, now uh, we went from like a very sandy place to a very rocky place. So yeah. all of these was rocks with a, <laughs> a bit of sand. Yeah. And uh, you, you just did so well. Like, look yeah. at you. After this, I fell. Yeah, it was after this you fell. I oh, slipped. I slipped, not on the mud. Look at you. I'm gonna stop here. Flex, gritty, gritty flex, huh? <laughs> so then uh, we went to again a more calm. Oh, this is so beautiful. This was uh, again like these uh, dry bamboos or the. I don't even think it like it's dry bamboos. It's these not... are just trees, small yeah, trees. Yeah. I, I don't know like what is the name of these trees. It's just like. But this really guy, nice. okay, let me tell was you. So, so tired, this guy. No, he was not tired. He was pissed. This guy was Why? so because I think he's like a, one one of the guys that competes a lot. 
and he got injured in the middle of the the race. Uh-huh. So he was like literally pissed. So he was not even I don't know if you noticed but he was not even let uh, people passing him. He was like uh, the people were like, "Oh, can I pass? Can I pass?" And he was like, "Oh, pass around." You know, it was. I think we got pissed. So until the end, he was always like with the with the moody face. But why? I don't know. Okay. I don't know why he got injured. Like um, it happens. He got injured. He got injured. Oh. So he was he was running before. Oh, and I then, didn't understand. And then he probably had something on his muscle, or something happened. Probably right. Yeah. And uh, oh, he was injured, so he, he he was like with his. You know, it was like in very, yeah. very bad mode until the end of the he race. Was in pain and all. Oh, fuck. Yeah. We should have uh, asked. No, him. no, I don't think he was like in pain a lot, but he couldn't en- enough pain to. So sometimes it's not like he could have done it, probably. But then you're just. It is it worth it to to a very long term injury? Yeah. You know. It's not, especially for these races, right? Yeah, like yeah. This, this is supposed to be fun. And if you feel like you're you're having an injury and like it's paining a lot, you should just just stop. Yeah, it's not worth it. This is not like the Olympic Games, you yeah. know. Oh, this one chat. This is the one that I I uh, I think I said to you to run for the for the yeah, video. Yeah. Come, come. Run, run for the video. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. Oh, you were so tired here. <coughs> here, I was not. I fell twice before this. You fell twice. Yeah, I fell b- b- before. Like once you are uh, walking ahead, mm-hmm. and I was. This was like really slippery slope. Uh huh. And I fell, and I got scratch, one small scratch. Oh. Then I fell on mud. On mud, Chad. She listen, Chad. Her ass was this close to <laughs> do a big splash on the I mud. I slipped on the mud. And oh I, my God. I used the, my this uh, this thing, the knee? this leg, yeah, to hold me. Yeah, you were like, yeah, and my knee is paining now. He's paining. Yeah. Maybe you did uh, some. Um, yeah, sometimes it happens. Like the, yeah. though, those. Are, okay, so you see that pain. Probably it might have happened something to him, you know. Yeah. Then you get like very injured. Yeah, you know? but I was so close to get all muddy. Oh my but... God! I was so funny. <laughs> I, I, the thing is, like, I was, I was thinking. So, Chad, you guys can see here, we were entering uh, until now. We were like, man, this is so cool. There is, uh, we, we are able, even though we are passing through river, you know, re- in uh, like places with water. There was always like these rocks, right? Like we could not. Tr- we were trying to not wet our shoes that much. Yeah. But, Chad, after this. There, it was impossible. There was no way you're not. There gonna was your... no way you're not gonna wet your shoes. Yeah. Literally, there was a a part of the race that was completely muddy. Yeah. And uh, people and, were running on it. They were running. There was a guy that he came and then he's just like he splashed on me. He splashed on all my legs and things and I was like, dude, what the hell? <laughs> but I mean, he's just running, right? It's like part. It, it's part of the run. Um. So I was trying to still even dodge it, but there was one part that I thought was going to be solid and I completely f- flooded my my <laughs> my feet inside the mud. Yeah. And I was like, okay, now, fuck it now. You know, I, I don't really care. So this, is, this area uh, was really cool. Very muddy, but it's just like in the middle of the, the things. I was trying, this is like some GoPro action chat. <laughs> oh, see, oh, look at the river here. Yeah, so uh, we, we we cross this river in the middle. Yeah, like yeah, there. you just have to, like... Uh, there was no escape. I was trying to show how, how muddy everything was here. You know, like, so if you're trying to save your shoes, your precious shoes, then no, you couldn't. Yeah. There was a, they're going to get dirty. And it, but it was such. A, I really, really enjoyed this this last part. Yeah, it's like two kilometers. It was. The, it was adventurous. It was very, there were like very adventurous. Really small lanes to walk. Yeah, there was not a lot of space to walk. Did you have this thing that whenever you saw the the guy taking the pictures, did you start running just for the to take to have a cool picture? There was like two guys in this area taking pictures. Yeah, and they were boosting <laughs> everyone. Yeah. 
Well, I I think I made weird faces. Yeah, I I can't imagine that. I got shy. No, you got shy. Oh, don't take my picture. I got shy. You know, don't take my picture. But did you do that to start running? Of course, I did. This was the last one. No, no, there's one more here. Oh no, this was it, chat. This was the last part, and as a reward at the end, we had this beautiful pastry. The traditional oh, pastry. Oh, the Bolo de Berlin we were talking Bolo about. Bolo de Berlin. Uh, incredibly oh, good. So good. There are people in our hometown that uh, they make huge lines. They huge. die for it. Yeah. Line, not, uh, die. Uh, not die. But it's it's but you know, really good. It's really good. How, how much will you rate this pastry today? 100 out of 10. 100 out of 10? Yeah. It was a, it was so fresh and so nice, especially after that. I also feel like this picture is so good. Yeah, it's it a good is. picture, right? It is. Um, then I think I did like a. Uh, then, we, then we had this. It was really bad. Yeah, this Chad, <laughs> this looks so good, but it was not. But you know what? I I save uh, yummy food for the last. Uh huh. But it, you asked me to eat bolo the Berlin first. Yeah. And I ate it first and I regretted it eating it first. Yeah. I wanted to eat this one first no, because no, it was so bad. The reason why I say that is because Bolo Berlin, uh, if you let it pass a lot of time, it gets dry and okay. it's not as good. Okay. So those ones that we, we ate were like really, really fresh. <laughs> yeah. So the pastry and the, the, the paste of the, you know, the, this, this side here, it was still like so fluffy and... Um, you know, smooth. And after a few hours, you know, like they, they get like slightly dry and you barely can eat them. So I, the, the, the let me just tell you one thing. that That's why people make that line. Because mm. some people want to go there and they buy and they bring for the family. But then sometimes they have like two hours tri trip to go home, back home. And it doesn't taste the same. Not yeah. at all. Not at all. It doesn't... Uh, because this is like fried, right? It's bread. Yeah, it's like it's oh, fried fuck. and um, so good. it just doesn't hold. Like if you go like to the supermarket and we had this one or other stores, they just do it in a different way. So probably you can bring home and maybe even to you just put it in the fridge. You can eat it tomorrow or something. <laughs> But this one, you can't. It's just like, or you eat it on the spot, or you eat it in a very short period of time, because otherwise they're going to get like... Uh, dry and shaggy. Dry, not shaggy, the opposite, like hard. Okay. Like bread. Yeah, you know yeah. how bread is like so fluffy and smushy, <laughs> yeah. and the next day it gets harder? Yeah. You know, like it happens the same with this pastry. you know what? Next year, if I register, and if they have this bolo de bolin, I think I'll register for this. <laughs> Yeah, because just, it feels good. It feels like a reward when you finish it yeah. and you have like this such a yummy, sweet. Yeah, well, for I you. took here a, a video with the, all the things. So, as a reward chat, there was like this pastry. I was so surprised. They were giving us beer. Like, in this, like, a this kind of event is like a health conscious and all that stuff. Uh -huh. Who drinks beer? They yeah. should give like juice or something. Yeah, like it was fresh. beard, fru fruits, uh, this small pastry. Beard? Yeah, beard. <laughs> Not beard. And uh, this was some bananas, some energy bar. This is the shadow of Indestibia. Indestibia. <laughs> and uh, yeah, because at the end of the day, like you went through so much. And you Lisa, deserve it. Yeah, you deserve it, Chad. That's true. If you go in the middle of the mountains for three freaking hours, right? You can eat this afterward, and it's gonna be really, really good. Really, really good. It was uh, insane. We yeah. loved it. Everything was tasting so good. Yeah, this is the finishing line. Uh, we are here. So, Chad, we already crossed the finishing line. So then, then we went like to this place. Where you could have like the after the race snack, yeah, and uh, that we are just eating, and we are waiting for my for my father. So oh, he's coming. So he was coming. <laughs> I was so impressed with him. Yeah, he my, was my, like slightly far from us. Yeah, we, I think we finished like forty five minutes or like thirty minutes before him. Yeah, but still, minutes. like he has double our age, and he, he was a very difficult thrill. Uh, yeah. trail, yeah. right? Yeah. So he was insane. Uh, imagine like what, what did I miss? We are telling the story about the the first trail that we did, twelve kilometers in the middle of the of the mountain it was was so insane. 
Uh, we also are telling a story time because probably we're gonna put this thing later on on uh, on YouTube. Yeah, but uh, I was so proud of him. I was super. I was proud of us and and him and him. I was proud of uh, proud of everyone. Yeah, look at him coming. He was tired he, because like, he was very very. <laughs> look at him going. <laughs> I was waiting, and he did it. He fucking Yay. did it. He finished it. I was very proud of him. There was this girl. She was first. Yeah. On these 36 kilometers. Yeah. He running. finished. It. Yeah, I know. That was insane. I know. So, Shad, this was the, the story time with Inez and Pirikri. Our first 12 kilometers trail. It was insane. I okay, loved it. I